Hi, I'm Mike Heasley. Let me show you why I got an Academy Award for Shaking Hollywood. So the image shaker is actually what's called a variable angle wedge prism. It's two plates of glass with an optical fluid between those plates of glass, acting like a prism, but you can vary the shape of this prism by moving those plates of glass. The magic of Hollywood is to tell you a story, to bring you into the screen and make you experience what the actors and actresses are experiencing. If there's an explosion on screen, you need to feel it. You need to know that there's danger. If there's something terrible going on in the background, a volcano erupting or a mudslide coming at you, you need to feel that danger. And one of the ways to tell that story is to shake the camera around. But that's not a practical way to do things, so I invented the image shaker. The image shaker is used to create the effect of violent motions like earthquakes or explosions or car accidents, anything that involves violent motion, you can use the image shaker to add to that kind of motion. So if there's things blowing up on the screen, with the image shaker everything shakes around it as though the explosion was making the entire scene move. Before the image shaker, if you wanted camera motion, you actually had to grab the camera and shake it. Or, if you were sophisticated, you could attach an electric drill and an eccentric weight to the camera with duct tape and cause that to shake the camera around. But that didn't answer some of the questions, like, what if I wanted to remote mount my camera and I couldn't put a person there, like up at the end of a crane? With the image shaker, I can actually do that. Also, those methods were noisy sometimes, and the image shaker is dead silent, so you can actually use it in sound environments. Claremont Camera had invented a few devices that made the action of shaking a camera easier, a device with rubber feet that allowed you to shake the camera by hand, or a device with motors on it that allowed you to shake the camera with the assistance of a knob to set the amount that you were shaking. But it was still violent to the camera, it was still violent to the operator. It could shake the camera loose, it could shake parts of the camera loose. Not a good idea. When they showed me the motorized version, my immediate response was, why not just shake the image? And I literally, in that instant, saw the entire system in my head. So I made a proof of concept model with two plates of glass and the cuff from a dishwashing glove, filled it full of water, held it in front of a camera, and showed him that when you move the plates of glass up and down to side to side, you could create the effect of motion without moving the whole camera. The first step in building this was to test different optical fluids to see what would and wouldn't introduce uh, different defocus characteristics and color characteristics. We needed to have something that was optically neutral so that you could use it in front of the camera and the lens without changing the quality of the image. Once we came up with an optical solution, then we needed to come up with a mechanical solution that would actually support these plates of glass and fluid and allow us to create a motorized mechanism that would allow us to move this under computer control. The first really big customer that used the image shaker was uh, Steven Spielberg on Saving Private Ryan, and they absolutely loved it. They came in, saw it demoed, and immediately decided to rent several units, and they took those out into the field and used those to simulate explosions on the beach landing scenes in Normandy. If you do this effect on set, you give the actors and the actresses the opportunity to really ham it up like in the old Star Trek series. So if you're shaking side to side, the actors and actresses could shake their bodies side to side to match. If you're shaking up and down, the actors and actresses could look up to see if things are going to drop on them and know by looking at the video monitors when and how much the image is shaking. In addition, when you use the image shaker, you get the advantage of real physics. The image shaker is a physical device that follows the real laws of physics, whereas a computer simulation may or may not do that very well. Today, cameras are smaller and you can move them yourself, but that doesn't make it any better to grab the camera and shake it when you have the image shaker.